Okay, hi guys. I'm just recording this video on my phone. I am going to share with you the project that I'm going to be working on for the next, I don't know, four months or so on and off is a camper. It's a pickup truck bed camper. I think this was built in the 70s or 80s, I can't remember, but it's going to be for a friend because he's out in BC, so he dropped it off here in Ontario for me to kind of play along. Or play. Anyways, what I was saying was he asked me to do some demo and renovation so he can eventually live in it. And I don't think it's in really bad condition, but it needs a bit of a spruce up. So, I see my breath. Maybe not on the camera, but. Anyways, let's get a tour. Here it is. It's about 12 feet long, I think. Or eight feet, I can't remember. And I think it's from the 70s. This is the outside, it has a nice window on this side. And so let's go in. In. We have the little dining seating area here. Just has some cushions already. This table actually goes up and it can hook on to the wall there so you can have more space. I don't know why you would need more space right now, but just in case you do. And then if we're moving along, and then if we're moving along here, there's a little bit of storage. So this is I think a 60 gallon maybe tank for the shower and for the sink. Um, my friend, I don't know if he really wants to or needs this big of one anymore because he wants to take out the shower. And then there's some storage here and the previous owner had like these to hold it in, which is kind of creative, honestly, for on a budget. There's just some random things here. Then there's the bed over here. And what's really funny is the previous owner bumped out and, you know, did some patchwork over on this side and on this side. Um, to actually fit so he could sleep lengthwise because he was a bit tall for this space so that's actually kind of hilarious but you can kind of see there's also a little bit of room back there so I think we might create some storage over there because this bed is already pretty big. Along we have a battery too that's how um, the light's coming through right now and then so there's some storage under here but we want to make better use of it. So there's a countertop here and then there's a sink and this awesome retro stove. I just think it's taking way too much room here so we're just going to take that out. And then this little area here is where the propane tank stays. The heater um, for the water um, for the shower, that's going to be taken out as well because he doesn't want the shower anymore. And this is the shower right as you walk in. So it's pretty good, like I'm 5'3 and I could stand up in this but he has a lake for his showers. So that's pretty much all of it here. Um, this our demo soon. The goal is to just basically fix some things up, you know, like put these lights up kind of closer in with each other and then make everything kind of cohesive and one wood color or just one. It looks, you know, aesthetically pleasing. Um, my friend Aaron, he does leather working. He has a big dog husky as well so kind of want to make it livable for him and thanks for tuning in for this little vlog of i don't know seeing what this transformation is like don't have a lot of time I'm going to be doing it all in the cold uh, but